Hey guys, in this video I will show you the Explorer 5 in detail. With this particular model I have won the German Championship back in the past. Under my last flying video I asked you for the questions about the model and I will answer all these questions in the following video and I will show you additionally some tips and tricks and some things about my setup. So I hope that's interesting for you and we will start after the intro. For transporting the Explorer 5 I'm using a relatively small box and this is possible because the wing is divided into four sections and the fuselage can divide it into three parts. So it makes traveling to competitions very easy. And in this particular box that you have seen I can transport three models so that's totally enough for just a weekend competition. So here we come to the advantage of the Explorer 5 and of course also for the Explorer Q4. And this is the easy adjustability and interchangeability between these models. So if you want to switch, for example, from a V-tail to the cross-tail, you just need to replace the back center fuselage part and yeah, use the different tails on, on the fuselage. The X-tail and the V-tail is really well thought out. You can put it together several <laughs> hundred times and nothing will change on it. And here we will come to the next point. Of course, the fuselage itself looks pretty thin. And uh, yeah, when you look at it at the first time, you think, oh no, it's pretty complicated. You have no space in it where, where to put the RC equipment. But actually, <laughs> it's so easy. Um, it's really well thought out also here. Receiver sits between the wing sections here. And uh, you also need no long cables or something to reach the receiver just directly from the from wing here to the receiver and yeah, there's totally enough space so that's really easy and of course with the carbon fuselage you have to move your antennas of the receiver outside yeah, some guys now say okay well, that's really bad because um, they can break or the mechanical from a mechanical point of view but I fly <laughs> probably around five years now with the antennas outside the fuselage and I really had never any issues with it. Just drill a hole through the fuselage and let the antennas hang out there. One on top and one on the bottom. So as I already mentioned, the wing consists out of four pieces, so four wing sections and therefore you need uh, three joiners. So one big joiner for the center section and two joiners for the wing tip. There are different angles of joiners available and you can adjust it or use the ones that fits the best to your flying style. So for the center section, there's a 1 degree, 1.5 degree and 2 degree joiner available. And for the wing tips, uh, there's a 5 degree joiner, a 7 degree and 9 degree joiner available. So it depends on, on a flying style, if you like more dihedral angle or less. But um, yeah, generally speaking, um, more, more angle in the wing joiners is uh, better for calm conditions where you have to circle really flat and um, yeah, less angle uh, is better for very turbulent and windy conditions. In windy conditions, it's important that you can increase the flying rate of the model because when uh, the penetration of the model gets better and it's easier to fly against the wind and to travel some distance that you need. Yeah, and on the Explorer 5, uh, you can put some ballast into the wing center sections. There are some um, pre-installed manholes and I have a ballast which goes from 150 gram up to a kilogram. So in very stormy conditions, I use this one kilogram and um, yeah, uh, it makes the life much easier there. So here you see now how I install the V-tail. Uh, it's nothing special, really easy. Um, yeah, just putting it together. And yeah, normally when I go flying, um, yeah, I use uh, adhesive tape uh, to secure it in place, but yeah. 
as I mentioned, nothing special, but it's well thought out. Um, nothing can scratch or break or yeah, it just works like it should. There was one question about the layer version that my Explorer 5 is and it is a strong version. So for windy conditions and stormy conditions, but also it's pretty good in very light conditions. So uh, there's no big disadvantage or something. I really like it also to fly it in calm conditions. My first video on here on YouTube was where I tested it in really calm conditions. Yeah, and the Explorer 5 also comes in the standard strong version. So it's really robust, everything feels nice, very stiff. You cannot break anything with your hands <laughs> in, uh, yeah, when you handle it normally. And of course, um, for transport, it's, it's way easier in handling this model. Uh, depending on the setup that you use on this model, you can fly it from 1.5 to 1.7 kilogram empty without any ballast. So in my opinion, it's a really good model, not just for competition flying, but also for the hobby pilots, because with that standard strong layup, yeah, it's the best thing for daily flying and um, yeah, very easy in handling. So on my transmitter, I fly the Mold 1. That means I have the throttle and aileron on the right side, and on the left side, I have the elevator and the rudder. And um, yeah, here you see some throws of it, but I will not go too much into detail with my uh, flying setup because otherwise this video will get very, very long. Um, but yeah, here you see the flap setup um, if the very fast servos. So I use on the whole model KST servos. So the KST X10 um, on the flaps, X10 mini on the aileron and uh, on the V-tail I use uh, X08 servos. And here you see my uh, some different flight conditions set up. So for speed flying, um, some less camber on the flaps and for thermal soaring, some more camber. There was also one question how I control my motor. And I have one basic switch where I can turn it on or off. And on a slider, I can control how much power I want from the motor. On the model, I use a propeller and spinner system that's developed and produced by myself. But unfortunately, I have not the time to produce it in higher numbers, so you cannot buy it anywhere, so sorry for that. There was also a question about the battery that I use for this model, so I only use one battery, which is a 4-cell 650 mAh battery. This is uh, totally enough for competition flying, and for me itself, it's also enough for practice flying. There was also a question where to get this model. So you can check out the Nine Models website where you can find the distributors um, of it. And uh, for example, in Germany, the distributor is a Cumulus Model Bo. So now we come slowly to the end of this video. I hope it was interesting for you. Please give me a feedback in the comment section. And if you have any questions, feel also free to write them down. Making such a video is always very time consuming and I have to put a lot of effort in it. I hope you can share it with your friends. That would be really nice. I've already recorded some new flying videos, which I will upload in the next weeks. So make sure you have subscribed to this YouTube channel as always. <laughs> so yeah, see you next time. Goodbye.